Oh, here comes uh, Sock Man. Sure. I take it blasting your way through hordes of allegedly psychopathic puppets is a normal day at work for you, hmm? Mm -hmm. Seriously, Gordon, who hurt you? Is there a map around here somewhere, maybe? Did you check the first safe room? I sure did, and there's no proof that I didn't. Life will improve, I'm thinking. There's nothing in the fridge. How dare they? Luckily, this place seems to be devoid of puppets for the moment, so we have generally ease of access to travel. Remember when I said generally? We take the elevator, we go down. We have now our triangle key, which is going to provide us with so much access to so many things. I should probably turn the switch to on. Now you have two hands in your stomach. That's how numbers work. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you heard it here first. That's how numbers function. For all you mathematicians out there, I'm sorry. Shit. Crap. Oh, the one thing I need and I put it away. Luckily, we can just go grab it. Avoid the pupper. Sorry, puppet dog. Oh, you get back up. I didn't realize you get back up. And this gets rid of the dogs, right? Why do they have six legs? Yeah, see, they're just a, another additional random hand. I am, funny enough, running out of places to go. Puppet man, something about his felt is kind of soft. <laughs> oh, hey there, kids. I live in your TV set. <gasps> Why do I not have any ammo? And ignores all the ammo all the time. At every chance I could possibly get. Friendly, friendly. Does anyone else notice that they seem to be getting ever so slightly faster in their uh, walking speeds? Does that have salt and pepper shakers for hands? But it just came back to me now. But tell me how you really feel. So the big scary is now completely okay, and we can go figure out what's still missing out of that room, I guess. All right, this entire area has been cleared. There's one thing in there we haven't done yet. And still one thing in that room. I have absolutely no idea what's in that room. I can't. Puppet Space Quest. Puppet Space Heist. Mystic Maze is still a really good one. This one's still funny to me. Uh, the Shadow Sapphire is still really funny. Pirates Cove. Storm Chicago. Road Trip. These are all, these are great. I like these references. They make me chuckle. Oh, oh, okay, this is clever. I want to say that that is correct. Nailed it. The door unlocked. What door? Oh, this door. Perfect. First try. Bam. I like to think I'm not the weird one, but other times, I like to think I'm the weird one. Ooh. Okay. This room is quite bright. You've lost your cat? Have you looked everywhere for her? Yes. Hold on, I can, I can produce one. One second. I got this. I got this script. Cat. We found cat. I did. And she has immediately decided that cuddle her up. There you go. There you go. Also, there's no map in here. There's no map in here to do. Find my cat. Tell that Muppet that he has to get better at piano or he's getting the boot. Do you have a boot to give him? Because I don't. Oh, hold up. I made a banana, everybody. Uh, ketchup in the, what I'm assuming is a microwave. Now I need... Soup on stove. And then we take the ketchup, the tomato juice, plus the pot, plus the banana, put it in the fridge, and it makes a key. Cardboard key. I mean, it all makes sense to me. Just, and now we have the key. To what exactly? To what, what was the key for? There's our cat, our three-eyed cat, apparently. <laughs> Kinda had a feeling. <laughs> what do you mean that didn't kill him? Oh, 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 um, um. Number one was this one. This was number five. Number two was dog. Number three, number four, number five. Nailed it. First try. I'm so good at this game. Well, this is lovely. Yeah, this room's not so bad at all. What? <coughs> I don't think we have a sock big enough for him, do we? Look at the size of him over there. <laughs> I can't read music. <coughs> Get off me, you oh, Okay, okay, okay. Alright, alright. That wasn't a duet, that was me doing all the work. Play, show monkey. Play. I'm doing it. Uh, now where the hell am I? Respectfully, Lauren Black Soul. 
<laughs> Vice President of Programming City Network Broadcasting Group. That is a fabulous aim for a producer. Something's gonna be unhappy with me with wanting to turn this off, isn't it? I've been wearing short sleeves this whole time. Mm -hmm. It's a city of shuttered up hearts, and they need someone to let in the light. I don't think that's you. No offense. We show them how to be friendly, and they hate that because they're not friendly. I don't think that's the problem. Really? Are you sure about that, Gordon? Do you really think the city network suits care about anything except their bank account? Do you really think people won't take any excuse to ignore their own issues? Well, and then we died. And then we deaded. Well, rip us. Don't worry, I landed on these bags okay. full of cans. Where are we? Like, Dwarf Fortress is fun. Dwarf Fortress is fun. I like Dwarf Fortress. Yeah! Oh! oh. The heck? Watch the final boss just be an actual dude with a straight-up gun. I've got the power of letters and friendship on my side. Damn it, I have to rely on my own intuitions for map? All right, no, up I go. I wasn't able to read that. The phone was ringing. Hello? Hello? Gordon? Ricky, I'm here. Oh, Gordon, thank goodness. So, what are they? Bad puppets? Oh, Gordon, I really hope you wouldn't find out. It's so embarrassing. But we were all curious. What do you mean? We wanted to know what other shows had that we didn't. We'd never been allowed to watch television before, but after we got canceled, no one was around to stop us. Okay. So we turned on one of the old sets, expecting to see something amazing. But it wasn't amazing. It was... mean. It felt like we were dying, Gordon. We all got a little twisted then, but some of us... That's on the other side of their stage. No, their stage, of course huh? it is. Oh, I believe in you, Gordon. Just do your wham blam fight the puppets thing. Give them the old ABC one two three. <laughs> Thanks for the encouragement. Uh, well, in we go into the darkness, the unfriendly neighborhood. Oh boy. What are you supposed to be? I think I've accidentally basically killed myself here. Well, thank goodness we saved. We're just gonna run. I don't need to shoot them. Yeah, not so fun, huh? You tell your friends that. Beg your pardon? Excuse me? Excuse me? Run them in circles. That's my plan. Keep them distracted. Why does this thing take three years to lower? Killed it. Even better. Anyone else? No? Rip puppets. And now the elevator works, right? Fabulous. Easy money. Ooh, I'm here now. These still don't open. That makes me sad. All right, so my job here is done, right? Like, mission accomplished, all's well and good? Wow, we spent all night doing that. Turned off our antenna and survived the unfriendly neighborhood. You're a handyman extraordinaire. Oh, I was. before you go, <laughs> I was wondering if you'd do us a favor. I was wondering if you'd help run our studio. What? See, everything's really old and falling apart. Really beyond our ability to care for. And on the personal side, I think it's obvious that we need a bit of a guiding hand. Are you kidding? Gordon, do I look like a sock that would kid? Maybe. Come on. Won't you be our neighbor? Wow, what a line. Do we do it? Fine. Let's do it. We'll give it a shot. We're doing it. Oh, Gordon. Who needs to I'm think about so it? We will have such fun! This is a good game. I like this game. Time, 5 hours, 22 minutes. Death, 6. Saves, 24. 
press any button. I got a B. Hot damn. Let's see. With the cheats on, let's see what this does. Let's get this done. Oh my goodness, look at my arms. This game's been a lot of fun. Very interesting little game. Good, well-designed, decent mechanics. I like the the limited resources was actually stress-inducing to a point. So, kind of like, you know, played into it a little bit on the stress level of the game, which is a fine thing. It's fine. Not too bad. Not too bad. So, I'm Josh Yell again. Talk to you.